Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about something that is raging on Twitter and I don't see a way out uh, for this, for all these people involved unless they just stop. So here um, is what is happening. I'm probably thinking right now Elon Musk is sitting somewhere just twiddling his thumbs on Twitter and just typing and tweeting whatever comes to his mind at any given point of time and uh, I believe that if there is any debate that has to be happening on Twitter it should be about Elon Musk's mental health. Um, I'm not just saying that lightly because if you see this meme right here, uh, you know th this is the Twitter empire here and this is him just seeing it burn away. I really like Twitter up until this point like a week ago because I feel like um, I could get some content out of it, I can understand what's happening, I can see both sides of the debate on any issue. Um, of course, uh, if you are uh, either left-leaning or right-leaning, you will start, pretty soon you will start seeing extremely polarized content these days. Um, so that has been a problem for me, but I have been trying to judiciously navigate it and try to see what I can best make out of it. But um, this is him seeing the Twitter empire burn down in front of his own eyes. Um, let me see why I say that and I don't say it lightly because uh, this is what has happened in the last 24 hours. Twitter engineer fired on Twitter calls Musk's team a bunch of cowards. So the prelude to this is there is a gentleman whose name is uh, Fraunhofer and he was uh, trying to debate, argue with Elon Musk about something um, and then uh, as people egg Elon Musk on saying that hey how dare a team member speaks to you like this or whatever and I don't know if Elon Musk's ego kicks in right away he just says you're fired I'll have to bring this over here okay so if you are on Twitter right now I'm going to show you the original tweets but you will not see Elon Musk's tweet he is fired which he posted November 14th 9.32 p.m. So 9.32 might be, might not be Eastern time zone where I am right now in the US but this is what you will see uh, right now. Okay so, okay so this is the guy who has been fired from Twitter, Eric Fraunhofer. I have spent six years, approximately six years working on Twitter for Android and case, can say this is wrong. So the whole issue came about when Elon Musk says, I want to apologize for Twitter for being super slow. Then this Eric guy says, I've spent approximately six years and I can say this is wrong. Okay, because he says app is doing greater than thousand poorly batched RPCs just to render a home timeline. Okay, uh, this is some technicalities and then Eric says, this gentleman says, this is wrong and that's when all hell breaks loose. Um, some people are like, uh, hey, I have been a developer for 20 years and I can tell you as a domain expert, of course he's being sarcastic here, as a domain expert here, you should inform your boss privately. You know, the whole problem about ego kicking in and... Uh, you know all that and this guy money nerd techie says hey dude why don't you just private message your boss about it because obviously his ego is going to get hurt and then Eric doesn't stop there he says maybe he should ask questions privately maybe using slack or email how about that you know why is he doing all these things talking technicalities and that to supposedly incorrect technicalities out in the public um, and then uh, Elon Musk says this after a bunch of people so as you will see that this particular debate goes on and there are a lot of people for Musk and there are a lot of people for Mr. Fraunhofer so um, yes what happens at the end is he tweets this where he says he is fired and this is what ensues uh, then somebody reaches out from the Forbes office to get uh, the scoop on his side of the story and Mr. Fraunhofer says, uh, when Forbes reached out Fraunhofer by phone on Monday afternoon from his home in San Diego, the engineer said he had received no formal communications from the company at all uh, about, his, about his sudden dismissal.
Nope, nothing. They're a bunch of cowards. That's what he says. So as you can see, Musk continues to tweet, acting as both the company's chaos agent and its self-proclaimed white knight. I completely agree with this kind of a description from uh, this Forbes uh, uh, journalist who has written this because uh, if you observe Elon Musk's Twitter account right now, uh, if you see the tweets and replies, he has been on a tweeting spree. Literally every single time I am on Twitter um, and I see this, it's been, okay, so if you can see there are other people like Sachi and I can see that she is trending right now because if you can see lol just got fired for shit posting I said it before and I'll say it again kiss my Elon okay and some other shit posting that she had done um, she was kicked out that's what I think is happening but here um, tech lead staff software engineer Twitter I don't know if this is uh, her previous thing if she has been really fired or not but there are a lot of such postings saying that people are not being given enough notice if they are getting fired so if you see another uh, particular one second okay so here your role at twitter okay twitter hr is sending emails like this hi we regret to inform you that your employment is terminated effective immediately your recent behavior has violated company policy our operations team will be reaching out with you with offboarding instructions if you have any follow-up questions you can email us at this this is literally what you are sent if you are being fired and even for that you will have to have access to the company's laptop let me open up eric fraunhofer's account and if you see let me show you literally there are okay so there are twitter employees who are saying after 12 amazing years and three weeks of chaos, I'm officially fired by Twitter. So there are tons and tons of retweets that this gentleman is doing of all the people who have been laid out, very many of them with little to none notice at all. So again, this is the uh, email that I just read out to you. Um, there are screenshots if you go here to see um, that they just simply don't have any access. Uh, okay, so this is it guess it is official now as you can see this mac is locked you literally don't have access and your computer just shuts down on you and you can't just access anything else once you are fired so this is the state of affairs um, the reason why i am talking about elon musk's mental health is because if you see here uh, of course i am quoting from a website like tmz where um, they run behind celebrities and uh, you know that's all they do right uh, trying to showcase uh, how great or not so great celebrities are doing in their life so uh, elon musk beams into a business conference immersed in darkness and burning candles uh, i'm just surprised that nobody is talking about it and i'm really really worried that he is just twiddling his thumbs and just writing down tweeting whatever comes to his mind at all odds or hours and if you see Elon Musk's own Twitter handle, you will see that he is not going to relent. That's what he's writing. He's sleeping in the San Francisco headquarters of Twitter. Uh, and he's going to continue to do that and work until he fixes the company, uh, whatever that means. Okay, so here, let me play this video. I have too much work on my plate, that is for sure. I'm really working at the absolute most amount that I can work from morning till night, seven days a week. Um, so, this is not something I'd recommend, frankly. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but <laughs> but it it is. Um, and, and I'm I'm just and I'm just looking at this video, and it's so bizarre. <laughs> well. You look like you're I'm like, in a dark place. <laughs> I'm sitting here in the dark surrounded by candles. <laughs> it's so bizarre. So this is all I had. Um, I wonder who is taking care of Elon Musk's mental health and who is uh, 
going to pay the collateral for all these people who run these social media giants and who are not being responsible and who are not behaving in a civil manner out on the digital platforms and out in the real world. Um, only time will tell. Thank you.